dudes and dudettes. Today we're going to be doing something a little different. This is for a couple of Pi's friends, Fonny and Lamar. You may know that cats love string, but engineering cats like Fonny and Lamar, they love structural string, aka cables. We're going to be going through how to solve three different types of cable problems. Cables under concentrated loads, cables under distributed loads, and cables under their own self-weight. Before we start, it's important to understand the assumptions we're making in our problems. For all problems, we're going to assume that there's only coplanar loading on the cables, the cables are flexible, and they are all inextensible. Our first assumption is that we're looking at coplanar loading only, so only loads in the 2D space. That means we can pull on our cables this way or this way, but not this way or this way. 2D only. Our next assumption is that the cables are flexible. They're like this ribbon. Under bending, they're floppy. But under tension, they're strong. So you may remember from statics that if you have a beam under load, it will deflect more the smaller your I value is. The I is a property of the area of your section. So we're basically assuming that the I of our cables is so small that there's no bending resistance left. That brings us to our next assumption. Cables are inextensible. That means that if you have a cable and you pull on it, the length of that cable does not change. This assumption is great because it lets us use simple geometry to solve our problems. You may be wondering why we can assume that cables are both flexible and inextensible. It seems kind of contradictory. Well, in reality, neither of those things are actually true, but it's close enough to the way that cables really behave that we can get pretty accurate answers doing our statics problems. 